Thanks for joining me for example 7.3.2 and Proposition 7.3.2 as we continue section 7.3 on linear independence. Let's start with example 7.3.2. Based on the diagrams below, we're asked to decide if each of the following sets of vectors is linearly dependent or independent. And we're going to base ourselves on information that we saw in a previous video. In particular, for the first two, for A and B, we're going to base ourselves on corollary 7.3.1.1, which says that a set of two vectors, V1, V2, is linearly dependent if and only if V1 and V2 are parallel. So let's go back and look at A and B. In A, we're given a vector W and a vector V. Those two vectors are diagrammatically shown to be non-parallel, and that means that the set V and W is linearly independent. Next, V and W are shown as if they are parallel, so W is parallel to V, which makes that set V and W linearly dependent. Next in part C, we're given a situation where we have a set of coplanar vectors. We're actually going to be basing ourselves on the last statement of the takeaway, which says the following. A collection of vectors v1 through vk is linearly dependent if and only if it is possible to remove at least one of the generators without changing the span. So we know that this plane can be represented as the span of these coplanar vectors u, v, and w. The question is, can we remove one of these vectors? Let's say w. Well, we can. We know that if we've got two non-parallel vectors, that is sufficient to span a plane. Therefore, the set U, V, and W is linearly dependent. That's too many syllables. Dependent. Let's go ahead and look at Proposition 7.3.2. A collection of K vectors in Rn is linearly dependent if K is greater than N. Let's go and prove this. So let's give ourselves a, a collection of vectors. Let v1, v2, and vk in our n be arbitrary. Let's let h be the homogeneous linear system. that is equivalent to the dependence equation of the vectors. Up to ak, vk equals zero, which is the dependence equation. Let's let a augmented be the augmented matrix for H. We've seen in a previous video that A augmented will look like the vectors V1 through Vk, their components, as columns. And since H is augmented, the constants will all be zero. A augmented will have N rows, since we are in Rn, and will have K columns, because we have our unknowns as A1, A2, through AK. So there are, in fact, K variables.
the n rows tell us that the maximum the maximum rank of a augmented is n so since h is homogeneous it is consistent if k is greater than n well then the number of variables which is equal to k is greater to n which is the maximum rank of the augmented matrix given these two bits of information h has infinitely many solutions. H is equivalent to the dependence equation. Therefore, the dependence equation has infinitely many solutions which means that our set v1 through vk is linearly dependent. And since these vectors were arbitrary, any collection of k vectors in Rn is linearly dependent if k is greater than n.